Good morning. I'm here in the middle of the jungle, about 45 minutes outside of Cancun, to dive what is considered by the tech diving and cave diving community to be one of the most impressive geological formations and one of the most distinctive or rare geological formations in the world. We are here at Cenote Zapote, also referred to as Hell's Bells. One of the things that sets Cenote Zapote apart from nearly every other cenote in this entire area is the formation of what are effectively stone bells that are actually the byproduct of a bacterial process, which is one of only three that is known to be taking place on the entire planet. As a fossil park, it is home to a variety of artifacts and incredible preserved skeletons that really capture the essence of just how ancient this place really is. One of the most famous residents is the skeleton of a giant sloth that fell into Cenote Zapote over a million years ago. This incredible animal is laying basically intact, or at least the skeleton intact, on the bottom, which is beneath a very toxic sulfur cloud which we cannot descend through, otherwise it actively disintegrates your gear. I'm diving today with Victor, who is by far one of the most accomplished and recognized cave divers and explorers in the entire Yucatan, and my good friend Peter, who's been really racking up the experience in diving over the last few years. I wanted to give you a quick tour of what this particular location looks like, and they've done a nice job illustrating it here. It's basically a straight drop down into the cavern. And here, once you make it down into the cavern, are all the formations of these bells. Down here at the very bottom is that skeleton of the giant sloth. And this represents that sulfur cloud, which we really can't descend through because it begins to disintegrate your gear. But man, would it be something to see a skeleton of a sloth like that. This is a very well-known dive site. It's very well recognized now. And they've done a nice job turning it into a very publicly accessible nature park for everyone to enjoy. Victor's ready. Peter's ready. I'm kind of ready. Before we hop in here, I wanted to give you a real quick tour of what the entrance to Sanote Zapote looks like. If you catch it at the wrong time, there are dozens of tourists here. But if you catch it at the right time, it looks like this. This is a very special place. And as I mentioned earlier, it's home to the final resting place of a giant sloth. It's a pleasure to take you with us. We'll see you down there.
I cannot begin to tell you what it feels like to be in a place like this, how extraordinary it was. I hope you enjoyed that view as much as I did because that is absolutely one of the most incredible things I have ever seen in my entire life. That is Cenote Zapote. Thank you so much for diving with me today. We're gonna get charged up and we're headed over to the next spot, which I know you're gonna love. If you like this kind of content, please leave us a thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna see more diving, traveling, and all kinds of good videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.